Hello all, this is Dr. Day Maslach talking to you about reciprocity.com. The E is written with a three and in this particular video I want to talk to you about what is the best search engine for research articles. So if you don't know me, I'm an associate professor of innovation strategy and entrepreneurship and I created this whole reciprocity project to give back as much as I possibly can. There were so many people that helped me out that I want to pay their favor for it and to help you out. All right, so what is the best search engine for research art articles? So for me, I just use uh, Google Scholar. It works really well. So if you go to scholar.google.com, um, it works really well for most things that are on the internet, um, particularly pertaining to research articles and the way that they have it structured is you can go through the different citations and find different individuals or different papers. And then finally, you can go and look at the different dates. So what I often do is look within a specific journal or I, I would search within a specific date. So I would select the most recent dates for the last, say, maybe it's three years. And I would search within each um, article. So if I find something that's interesting, I might search within those particular articles. So why do I suggest just using Google Scholar? Um, it works really well. They, uh, you can imagine what Google is. Google is a bunch of nerds that they have put together. Um, it was a PhD, a couple of PhDs that started it out of Stanford, and then they still have this sort of um, nerd mentality that's built within Google. So it is really focused on scholars, so it makes a lot of sense for you. So every once in a while, you do find articles that don't show up in Google Scholar if they're in ResearchGate or SSRN. But it's usually just because that they're really, really recent and they might be a year or I'm sorry, it might be like a week or two um, old and within a couple of weeks, they usually get onto Google Scholar and they pop up. I've never had any issue doing this and it just saves your time then going on to like your library website and finding the different, um, you know, going and finding the different sort of search engines that they have there. Um, so sometimes if I find out on Google Scholar and then I can't get, get it at my university or I can't find it, it doesn't immediately pop up in terms of the article, then I'll go into my university and search within the library and then find that particular article after I've used Google Scholar because it just works. It's got this functionality that works really well. It makes your life a lot easier. So just default to that. Um, it's going to save your time in the future. So that's all I'm going to talk about with this video. Hopefully you like it. Give me a thumbs up if you like these kind of sort of helpful tips. Um, and do subscribe to the YouTube channel. I do appreciate it. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.